What's up, YouTube? Um, I am here to do a video on Android Auto Navigation because it has Waze. I know everyone's always asking, how do I get Waze on my car? So this is how you do it. So I'm gonna start on our home screen, and then the bottom left, that's our little navigation thing. So we're gonna click on that tab, and here's your Google Maps that you've had up and running for the whole time. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you some two quick cool settings. If you click on this on the top left, and then you scroll all the way down, you'll notice that you have traffic, which I have turned on. You also have satellite view, which you can turn on as well. Um, this allows you to pinch and zoom and kind of just see what things look like. Um, I personally am a huge fan of this, and a lot of people um, don't know that that's there. But now, while you're watching the video, it's how to switch to Waze. So the first thing that I want to do is see on the uh, navigation, there's a little drop down. We're going to click on that. And there you go. There's your options. So we're going to switch over to Waze. And here it is. So I'm just going to get real close. You have where you are right there. There's like sunflower ghosts and there was like cat ghost on here earlier. It's very strange. You'll also notice the police officer um, to say that there's police officers around. So I want to show you kind of how to use this similar to your phone. If you want to mark something on the road, click this little tab right here and that allows you to say that there's either a police officer, traffic, a crash, map issues, hazards, or traffic cameras. To go back, you just click this X on the top left, it pulls you right back to the map. Um, and then searching is as easy as just clicking the tab and typing, or um, my personal preference, just click on the mic, Fenway Park. Okay, handing off to Waze. There you go. So. Uh, Fenway, you can click it and then go. That'll uh, pull that up, calculate your route, and uh, that's the ways that we all know and love. So if you want to cancel it, you can just click your little summary here, stop nav um, or alternate routes. I'm just going to stop the nav. But that is your quick snapshot on how to use Waze on really almost any of the new Volkswagens that are on the market. So uh, give me a subscribe right down here, somewhere right there. And uh, I will have new information on the Arteon coming out next week. So um, that's going to be pretty good. So I will see you later.